just another gorgeous day down here on the Sussex coast. Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Now there's a lot of stress, problems and negativity in the news at the moment, especially here in the UK this week. Um, but it's also Mental Health Awareness Month. So kick back, relax and join me for a nice, chilled out, relaxing metal detecting hunt here on Eastbourne Beach. I'm Adam, this is my metal detector and that is the aforementioned beach. Welcome to Detect Sussex. Okay, so just get myself set up down here on the beach. I hope you are all doing well this week. Uh, I've got the Amphibio Multi with me this week. I'm gonna try out a new setting this week. Um, previously on the beach with this machine, I've always used beach mode, um, but with the Simplex, I don't use beach mode for the beach. I use uh, park mode for the dry and all metal mode for the wet. Now the tide's all the way in today, so I'm not gonna be able to use all metal mode, which is Gen up the top there. Um, I will try that in the near future though. Um, I'm gonna use 99 tone. Now that is the... Uh, mode I tend to use when I'm on land um, and I really really enjoy that mode on land so let's give it a go today on the beach. Um, I'm going to leave the gain at 70 wherever it defaults and frequency as I said 14 kilohertz. Um, I will do a little ground balance uh, off camera because it will be shaking around and might make you a bit sick. Um, otherwise everything else is as default. Let's get cracking. All right first target here. Where are you? There we go. Come on, round about there. In the uh, 50s. 56 is quite a common number there. Let's have a little look and see what we've got. Okay, we've definitely moved it. That's. Uh, Put the detector down. Let's put my earphones back on. Headphones rather. And let's see if we can find it with the pinpointer. Ah, got it. Just a little bit of scrap to start the day. Never mind, onward. Okay, next one, I've given it a bit of a dig and managed to get it out on the surface there. Just in front of the uh, scoop, it was coming up. 26, 27, 28 on the numbers. There we go. Let's get it in the scoop. Five pence piece, beautiful. 19.99 on the date. and thistle design on the back. Great stuff, onward. Okay, next one coming up here. 34, 35, thereabouts. Let's have a look. Oh, oh, I can see it. I can see it. Just a ring pull. Onward. All right, so I've got two signals here. Um, originally it was one signal in that hole. Uh, it's coming up a wobbly late 20s. But I've actually got two signals now. You can hear them. And the amphibia is picking them out really, really well. Really, really well. So I've got one over here coming up at 28. Another one over here is coming up solid 30. So let's uh, pop the detector down. I'll put my headphones back on. Now the Amphibio, unlike the Simplex, doesn't have a mute button. So 
I'll put my headphones on so you don't hear too many beeps <laughs> when I put the detector down. Um, right, let's have a look at the 30 signal first, see what we've got over here. It is. All right, so what is that? That's the end of a pencil, isn't it? You know, where the rubber normally goes. So I think that's the remains of a pencil in there. It's quite solid. And then the uh, eraser would be in there. Okay. <laughs> Don't think I found one of those on the beach before. Cool. All right, let's have a look at the other signal. Let's see what else we've got here. Did I turn the pinpointer off? No, I didn't. No. Ah, okay. No signal. Can't find it anywhere. All right, let's go back to the uh, metal detector. It may be because of the shape of that, it was giving off two separate signals. Let's pop that in the tap box. And uh, check with the detector. Yeah, yeah, it's gone now. That's gone. So, just goes to show the kind of uh, signals you get can be misleading. So, yeah, pencil end looked like it was giving two signals, but actually, because of the shape of it, it was just one. And it was actually thinking about it where I found it was directly between those two signals so yeah that definitely uh, shows that lovely onward all right next signal up here coming up and about 40 39 40 now I have switched into four tone um, 99 tone is really good on the land it's really jumpy and chattery here on the uh, on the beach so I've moved into four tone which seems a little bit more stable in terms of chatter at least and yes I did adjust the gain and the ground balance and everything else to try and compensate it just wasn't having it so in four tone we'll see how that goes for now and I've got a signal just there so let's see what we can see what we can find still there Oh, it's gone. Okay, moved it. It's over here somewhere. Oh, I think I can see it just resting on a stone there. In fact, I'm going to bend down. That's going to fall back through the cracks. So let me just go and grab that. Oh, yep, it's falling through the cracks. Come on. There we go, got it. Lovely stuff. The headphones back on so you don't hear any chatter. It is 20p. Fantastic. 1990 on the date there. The old Tudor Rose design on there. Beautiful. There's Her Majesty. There is the back. Lovely stuff. Onward. Okay, coming up in the 30s. Whatever that was. <laughs> Scrap of metal. Onward. All right, next target here. I don't know if you can see the screen, but it's quite up in the early to mid 60s. I'm oh, dead over it. A little bit of 50s now, I've turned the camera on. <laughs> Not showing too deep, so let's have a little squiz and see what's there. Now the shingle here isn't very deep, I'm actually at the top of the beach. Um, so immediately beneath the shingle, maybe about an inch down, you can see there's a lot of sand and dirt and stuff. So I'm not sticking the scoop in too deep. Don't 
don't know if you can hear that, there's someone on a microphone in the background somewhere. There's some sort of event going on. I saw some people walking past with some like race numbers and things on their uh, chests earlier. Oh, there it is. Yep, got it. It's out. Okay. To yours. One of them. Like an eyelet from a tarpaulin or something, I think. There we go. Onward. Okay, so I said on that last find that the uh, shingle here isn't very deep at the top of the beach. And there's this uh, sand and mud and stuff up here. Um, I've got a target in here. It's coming up 34, 35, um, but it seems to be quite deep. So I'll get the digging tool out and we'll see if we can track it down with the pinpointer at all. There we go. Okay, so it's not the pinpoint, uh, digging tool that's picking up, is it? No, no, it's definitely something there. Cool. So let's get down there a little bit more. See if we can track it down. Okay, just about there. Okay, I think I might have moved it. It's over this side now. Okay, it's moved. Oh, okay, it's up here. <laughs> Brilliant. Sometimes you do all that work and it's just a ring pull. But hey, it doesn't matter. Look at this day. Beautiful stuff. Lovely weather, sea breeze. Nice and chilled out, nice and relaxing. Just can't beat it. Onward. Okay, so this was coming up in the uh, early 30s, about 32, 33 in the hole there. I haven't looked at it yet. I'm suspecting a 10p by the size and shape. Now let's uh, clean it off a bit and see if we can uncover it a bit more. Yeah, that's a 10p, 100%. 2010. A bit grotty, but a little bit of a clean, that'll be easily spendable. Yeah, 10 pence, modern Royal Shield design on the back. Great stuff. Onward. Okay, so I'm just taking a bit of a rest for a minute. A little bit shaken up, to be honest. Um, quite a coincidence that it's happened today when I was talking about the uh, Mental Health Awareness Month earlier. Um, I was over, over yonder. Um, I found a target and there was a gentleman um, standing about 10 feet away watching me and he was uh, he was just watching me as I was finding the target, pinpointing the target, talking to camera, um, found the target, held the ca target up to the camera, um, talking about the target on the camera. And uh, halfway through talking to the camera about the target, he shouts very loudly and asks me a question about what I'm doing and metal detecting and stuff, which is fine. And I'm, I'm totally happy to, to talk to people about it and talk about metal detecting and not to macro and all that kind of stuff. I'm a nomad, you know, it's, it's part of the job. But um, I politely pointed out that I was in the middle of recording a video and he launched into a very aggressive and abusive tirade at me before eventually walking off in a huff. Now, one of the reasons I metal detect is because it is good for mental health. Um, without going into too many details, if that had happened to me a few years ago, that would have caused me a lot of problems. 
Um, and if he'd done that to someone today who was deepest, darkest depths of uh, a mental health problem, that really could have caused some problems um, in various ways. So be kind, people. You know, one in three people that you meet in your life will at some point have a mental health problem. So be kind. If you've made a mistake, you know, don't get angry. Just uh, accept it, move on. So I'm not going to pretend to find the uh, find. I'm not going to show you the video of him shouting at me because that would be uh, not very professional. So um, bottle top. Uh, I'm just going to sit here and listen to the waves for a few minutes and then I'll get back to it. So I'll see you in a minute. Onward. Bottle top, on board. Okay, looks like I am back on the coins. Let's have a little look, Let's see what this is. 2p, is it any good? Signal's a little bit grunty, so it's probably a modern one. Yeah, there's a little bit of rust coming through there. It was a nice tone, but it just had that iron quality to it, um, and the numbers were a little bit jumpy. 80s, 90s, all over the place. So, yeah, 2005, so it's got the iron core in there. Let's turn out of the wind. I don't know if you can hear the wind. There we are. Just about spendable, I think. Just a tiny little bit of rust in one little corner, which has more or less rubbed off as I'm talking. So, yeah, we'll call that a spendable. 2B. Onward. Okay, next up, beaver tail. So it's a beaver tail, beaver tail. So, um, damn. Uh, I'm so sorry. Onward. Okay, got a nice tone here. Numbers in the late 60s, 68, 68, 67, 68, 69. So pound coin territory. Uh, a couple of bars on the depth. have a little look see what we have got okay I've moved it it's over there somewhere Let's just spread that out a little bit I'm not seeing any pound coins so it might just be a bit of scrap out there, let's have a closer look. Ah, there we go. Yep, found it. Just a bit of uh, what's that? A bit of aluminium. Yeah, nothing special. On wood. Hey, right. next up, bottle top J two O. On wood. All right, so coming up in the late 20s, 27, 28, I think I've got another 5p here, but it's a little bit uh, grotty. Had to dig a little bit for it with the uh, not so macro digging tool down there. Let's just get some of this muck off. Oh, got a hole in the thumb. Need some new gloves. To, uh, head over to the LP website and have a little look around, see what they've got on there. Come on. Uh, yeah, it's got to be a 5p, isn't it? With those edges. I'm not sure I'm going to get a year off it. Yeah, you can just about see the thistle design on the back there. Yeah. Yeah, number five at the bottom. So, bit of a clean, that will be spendable. 5p. Onward. Okay, they get ready to uh, start shifting the shingle around and start making these uh, ramps so that the uh, 
heavy machinery can get over between the bays. Yeah, they do this roughly once a year, it takes a few, couple of weeks, um, and they basically take shingle from one end of the beach and put it down to the other because the tides during the course of the year shift it all around and uh, they need to make sure that the sea defences are as they should be to uh, protect the town if, uh, if there's, you know, severe weather or extreme high tides or what have you. So that's what they'll be doing. So I need to make sure I'm not on this section of the beach over the next couple of weeks um, so I can avoid all the heavy plant machinery <laughs> um, heading up and down the beach. So yeah, hopefully my um, farm permission and the events fields will be uh, available again soon. Uh, a couple of months ago, there was an event there. Um, they didn't follow the instructions given about where to drive their vehicles and the entire site, all the fields that I have to detect on became quagmires, you know, very, very deep mud. Now they've uh, dried out a bit. They're in the process at the minute of uh, rolling and plowing the, the ground. So hopefully what's happened is all the nice stuff that's a little bit deeper is uh, being turned over and might be on the surface. So as soon as I can get back down there, I will uh, do so and see what we can find down there. It's gonna be like detecting brand new land. And speaking of brand new land, I have just gained myself this week a new permission. Can't say too much at the minute, but it's uh, an interesting site. It's not too far from where I live. And uh, hopefully I can secure a date in November to head down there. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. There's going to be some new land coming in the not too distant future. For now though, we carry on. Onward. Okay, just up by the promenade and we've got another signal here. It was coming up around about 40 and I've lost it. There it is. 20p. Great stuff. Our oh, Mudger Stirrup, we've got on there 2012, and it's the modern Royal Shield design on the back. <whistles> Onward. Okay, a bit of a chattery area of the beach here. I've taken the ground balance all the way down, but it's still a little chatty, so apologies for the sounds. But uh, I've got a coin here. I don't know if you can see it. Where is it? It's kind of about there. Um, it's a 10 pence piece. Um, I've just found it coming up in the early 30s. Now, it's currently sitting on its side. So this is a good example of how things change the sound depending on the shape that the detector's seeing. So at the minute, it's just seeing a very thin line of metal, which is the edge of the coin. So if I put the uh, detector over it, yeah, not a very nice sound at all. Yeah, you might have it a go, you might give it a quick dig, but not a great sound. Numbers are jumping about, yeah. If I flip that coin down so that it's flat with my foot, like that, oh, not quite. Let's try and get it perfectly flat if we can. I'm gonna bend down and move it. Okay, so if I put that perfectly flat there, yeah. Now listen to the tone. Yeah, nice and strong. Fairly stable numbers. Yeah. So it really does depend on the shape and orientation of the, uh, the objects in the ground, to put, you know, the, the kind of sound and, uh, and numbers that you get. So it's worth digging if you've got any doubt whatsoever. Dig it anyway, just in case. So 10 pence piece, 1992, is that two, or is that three? Two, 1992, and the old lion design. Onward. Okay, let's have a look. Ah. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Rusty, crusty 2P. Look at the state of that. That is disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. Rubbish. Onward. <laughs> Come on, get out. Mm. 
zippity doo da, zippity day. Onward. All right, so this was coming up around about 89. Thought it was going to be a 2p, but doesn't appear to be. Look at that uh, effect. Okay, so I'm guessing it's something off of maybe a fidget spinner. You know, that'll be a ball bearing fitting and you'll have something you can flick and spin around there. <laughs> Onward. Okay, so that's the end of the hunt for today. I've had a good three or four hours down here on the beach. Um, had a lovely time, despite uh, a little encounter with an angry man earlier, um, but he certainly wasn't going to be spoiling my day down on the beach today. I've had a fantastic day, lovely sea breeze, lovely sound of the waves crashing, um, birds flying overhead, just a really, really pleasant time down here on the beach. So let's have a look and see what we've managed to find with the amphibio today. So here we are, this is everything I found, so slim pickings. Uh, tap box wise, we've got a couple of bottle tops, ring pulls, uh, little bits of scrap and tat, zip, and oh, what I think is a bit of a fidget spinner, something like that. There we are, and on the coins, eight coins today, 2p, couple of 5p's, couple of 10p's, or three 10p's, uh, 20p and 20p, so two, four, six, seven, 82 pence today, 82, a little bit more than last week, <laughs> but fewer coins. Um, as I said earlier, just fell over. As I said earlier, the uh, the beach is gonna be turned over by the uh, large machinery you saw earlier um, over the next few weeks. I'll have to find a different part of the beach or try and get onto the land permissions if, uh, if I'm able to, if they're uh, available to me again. So I'll try and get over there shortly. Um, don't forget, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Hit the subscribe button down below. And if you enjoyed the video, a like and a comment is always appreciated. Have a fantastic week, everybody. Make sure to make time for yourselves. Look after yourselves. And I will see you soon. Take care.